The first thing we did with Arlo being a large dinosaur was we looked at elephants, our largest land mammal, and we referenced how they walk. And we started by building off of that. Then when we get to the character aspect, where he's a frail 10-year-old boy lost far from home, we're looking for ways to kind of uh, weaken him or make him look overwhelmed. So we'll take his posture and we'll move his feet closer together or, or bring his knees closer together or his shoulders and we'll take his long neck and we'll kind of slump and bend it and make him look a little more fragile. And then as the film progresses, we'll see a growth in that physically where as his confidence builds, his stance will widen, his neck will straighten. So by the time we get to the film, he feels and looks stronger physically and mentally. What's unique about this film is there's not a lot of dialogue, so most of the acting is happening in the eyes. So that was a challenge for the animators. So we're really looking for expressive eyes, and the animators would use a lot of the, the way that we pose his head and tilt his nose to show mood or, or emotion. With human characters, we have shoulders to slump, we have hands to use to gesture with, we have... Uh, eyebrows and all the facial expressions we're familiar with, but with Arlo, a lot of times it would just be his head in screen, so we had to really use kind of his brows and his eyes to do most of the expressing.